Thank you, viewers. Thank you for stopping by. In today's math class, it is a simple Olympiad mass pressure. We are given that 3 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to h1. We are expected to find the value of x. It is a brief one. It is a simple one. The quickest approach to get the answer, 3 to the power of x to the power of 2, is equal to h1. The first thing I will do is to express my h1 in base 3. Okay? And that is going to give me 3 to the power of x to the power of 2 equal to 3 to the power of 4. Because my 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 4 times. That is 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 9 will give me h1. So that is why we expressed our h1 as 3 to the power of 4. Now, by the law of indices that says that if I have y to the power of uh, maybe uh, x equal to y to the power of uh, n, once the bases are equal, automatically the powers become equal. It means that also x is equal to n. That means if I have 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of y, it means that x is equal to y. It is a law of indices. So going by that, I will now have that here is base 3, by the right is also base 3. Automatically, the power, which is x to the power of 2, will now be equal to 4. That is what I will have, since the bases are equal. Going by the law of indices. Good. The next thing I will do, I want to express this my 4 in base 2 as well. And that is going to give me x to the power of 2 equal to 2 to the power of 2. So I have expressed my 4 in base 2. And that is 2 to the power of 2. And that is equal to 4. Also the law of indices that says that if x is equal to the power of 2, equal to y equal to the power of 2. Once the powers are equal, it makes the basis to be equal, alright? So we go by this law of indices to now see that the powers here are equal to the left. I have power 2 and by the right I have power 2. Automatically that implies that my basis are equal. So x is equal to 2. Final answer. Alright, a quick check to that. Check result. Our x is 2. Anywhere I see x by the left, I put my 2. That becomes 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Is it equal to 81 by the right hand side? Let's go. 2 to the power of 2 is already 4. And that is 3 to the power of 4. Is it equal to 81? And from what we did from the beginning, you saw that 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. So in conclusion, 81 is equal to 81. Making our answer here to be equal to 2. It's a brief one. Thank you for watching to the end. Meanwhile, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and share my videos. God bless you.